Good evening, everybody. How have y'all been today? Uh, before we get started with Fire Emblem, as per the usual, uh, you've got to get Stream Raiders going. <laughs> uh, wait, wrong button. There we go. I know it's been a bit since I've last streamed. I, I feel like I'm saying this most every stream at this point, because my schedule this summer has been very erratic. Uh, but the uh, summer program I've been participating in is coming to an end pretty soon, so I should have a bit more time over August, at least when I'm not on vacation, that is. <laughs> but for now, place your troops on the battlefield, we'll get that battle started in half an hour. Uh, just... There we go, almost forgot that. All right. Continue on in Fire Emblem. <laughs> I'm at nearly 200 hours total on this game. This this may have been a uh, bit of a problem overall, but yeah. All right. Uh, also, what? Okay. Without beginning a stream. Stream of brain kicking in immediately. I try to say something instantly, not able to say it in any capacity, but uh, that's just how it be sometimes. All right, yeah, right. It forces you into battle for the first uh, first month. Yep, all that. About oh, forces you to do a practice battle. Right, right. right. Sorry, early game on the other runs was just so long ago. <laughs> it's, uh, been a while. Do you have experience commanding a battalion, Professor? I assume so, but if not, I'm happy to explain. All right, yeah. You employ a battalion, not off once you yeah, just regular old battalion stuff. Okay, so what do we have on the battlefield? Uh, obviously, Lorenz is staying benched. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so who are we gonna cycle through here? Um. Because, yeah, actually, having this many characters this early on is, like, throwing me off a bit. <laughs> um... Okay. Uh, I think... Because we are planning on... Yeah, Felix and Petra are both assassin. So I'll probably swap them out, like, every other battle or something. And... Sethia, we want as a Gremory, because Gremory Lysethia is utterly busted. So we can probably. Yeah. Mercedes, I think we're gonna have Dancer. Okay. Okay. Um, I think Lysethia will just keep in and we'll have Bernie and Ash swap out every so often. Or like every other battle or something. Okay. So start out with that. Keep the Sethia in. Uh, by a student and assign a student. There we go. Alright, what do we have to start? Level threes. These guys are Protection of 5, attack 14. A bunch of people are still level 1, so we're really gonna have to work with that. Actually, hold on. Look at units again. Uh, actually, 
actually. Ooh. Here we go. Sorry, I'm like still still remembering what my plans are overall. Okay, so these guys are all level three, so we're gonna want a couple of people to team up on them. Also, I was like to point out Sylvain is level one. And it still has higher stats than these guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mercedes does have. Oh wait, yeah, Mercedes is fire. Right. These guys have resilience is a three. But yeah, Mercedes can't hit any of them because their movement isn't high enough. Um. Mm. I don't think anyone is able- yeah, no one's movement is high enough to actually be able to hit these guys. Uh, okay. So we're gonna want our casters a couple of spots back so they can actually then move in next turn to take these guys out. Uh, protection of six. Attack 14, so he would take 8? No. No, no, no. 14 minus... No, 14 minus 6 is 8. Okay, I did do the math right there. So if we put Sylvain here... Oh, yeah, have him go to here, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, there. Bernie, protection of 4. Yeah, taking 10 damage this early, probably not the best idea. How many heals do we have? Five. Okay. Uh, and actually, Annette, what do you have? Win? Yeah. Okay. But. Dimitri there as well. His protection at 12, so he's able to tank a bit of damage. Actually, I'll put him there. Felix. Felix has a protection of 6. Dang. Ah, but he doesn't have high movement. Okay. Right, that makes sense. Actually, no. No one has high movement. What am I talking about? <laughs> Actually, Dedu's, Dedu's protection at 12. Yeah, we'll probably put him here. Okay. We'll have some contingent head up this way. Yeah. Okay. Probably our magic users and buy with. What should I do? Didu. Right off the bat, we're gonna want to move to here and wait. So he's just invincible right off the bat. I'll go. Okay, one of them does divert to attack me, Felix, but that's fine. I'm Actually, right. yeah. Sylvain's only level one, so we'll have them attack him. What's Sylvain's personal mode? The female allies a Jace deals two extra damage, takes two less damage during combat. Okay. Uh, well, we're probably gonna move Ingrid over to here to attack these guys next turn, so that works. I'll cut through. Here we go. Uh, Mercedes, yeah. Probably actually here, maybe, so we can move her across easier. Yeah, that works. Uh, now. This way. This is avoidance nine. Um, attack fourteen, hit of eighty seven. Protection of six. If he, he'd only take eight damage. Hmm. And we do have a healer nearby, so. Okay. So we'll draw out this guy with Felix. 
Yeah. Um, then. Net probably here. Leave it to me. Lysethia here. Oh, no. Bernie here. And Violet. He still attacks Felix. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was a lot of damage. And, okay, that was just to be expected, kind of thing, but... Yeah. So obvious. Not. And more misses. Right? Right, our characters aren't, you know, completely unstoppable yet. <laughs> okay. Um... So, I don't want to go about this. We have Dedu go here. He doesn't one shot them. Okay. Fire also doesn't one shot them. But it has 100% hit chance. Okay. And I think between these three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we're able to take these guys out. Not the last one, though. That opens up, uh... Mercedes to taking damage, which we don't want at all. So actually, how much does... Minus a Delta... Okay, Swarm Zeta? Let's do that. Alright. Minus a Delta does slightly more. Think about what does what's the uh, Fildarius one do again? Sometimes increase. Okay, so Felix can just get a random buff. Got it. That's hilarious and like kind of concerning, but nice. Uh, damage does Byleth do? Oh, Byleth one shots. Oh, right, because I got him a silver sword. <laughs> Um... 55% hit chance... Alright. We'll see... Okay, look, well, that does 10 damage. How much does Dimitri do to him? Um... 15. Ah, that would leave him with one HP. And Ingrid on that and Ingrid not able to hit him. How much time does it Ingrid do to him? <sighs> not enough. So we could Ooh, right, we could have Mercedes finish him off. But actually, how much does Mercedes just do against him right now? Oh wow. That's quite good. <laughs> Here. Alright, oh, that guy's down. You're out of luck. So now, put Dimitri there, protection at 12. Yeah, he'll be fine against these guys. First, okay. Want Dedu, Steel Axe. Ooh. Is it hit? Dang. And that also didn't hit. <laughs> Oof. Uh, Sigrid's protection stat is 5. So she take 9 damage from each of these guys if she goes here. 
that gets all five, all three of them on here. So, we'll move, we'll move Dimitri here. That says still get all three of them on here, on her. She take twenty seven damage. I don't like that. <laughs> Now that is more manageable. Yeah, we'll just move her here. And they can't both attack her. Of course, okay, cool. Now up here... We have... Lysithia... Actually, Lysithia I'm pretty sure can nearly one-shot any of these guys. Or not nearly one-shot, but deal significant damage to any of these guys. Bernie, on the other hand, if like, actually look how much damage she does. Ten? Okay. And Felix can just do a lot. Got a net. Wind deals twenty damage. Okay. So yeah, we can take all these guys out. Uh, start off Move Bernie here. Finish off this guy. Then Felix here. Oh dang! Yeah, that does a lot. So yeah, between Felix and Annette, we can take these guys out. He does take a bit of damage in response. Our dedicated healer is down there. We'll probably have to keep Felix out of it for a couple of turns so we can get Mercedes to heal him, but... Also, the, uh, that crest activated twice in a row. Dang. Quite good. Alright. Let's uh, win to finish this guy off. Cthulhu! Welcome in! How have you been today? Thanks. And yeah, it's a bit well it's a bit late on my end for like actually doing the stream anniversary stream, but uh <laughs> Yeah. I I had a thing that I wanted to say and then I completely forgot what I was going to say. That okay. Uh anyway. No hesitation. Get a crit. Nice. Um the stream anniversary itself was on Thursday, but yeah, this is the first chance I've actually gotten to stream since then. Yeah, welcoming Cthulhu. How have you been? I think I've already said that, but uh... I've been saying that a lot. Okay. Finally, Dedu gets a hit in. Exactly, Cthulhu. Schedules are hard and uh, don't always line up with each other. Alright. Actually, if we move Felix down to here, we can heal him this turn? Yeah. Should probably do that. They're actually on four of them here. No, no, but he'll he'll feel like it's next turn. Because none of these guys can hit down there. So we have Mercedes once again, just use fire. Because fire <laughs> at least early game. It's kind of us it since everything just has a low resilience. So we have Ingrid. 56% hit chance. Let's go. Now, Sylvain, finish off this guy. Just give up. I like how they. Uh, 
Did you actually if you use an Iron Axe, uh, sixty six percent chance? Iron Axe actually has a higher hit chance. Dang. Let's go. Had to be done. No worries, Cthulhu. We appreciate Lark was here. You never had a chance. Okay, so now we can start setting things up long term. Move Felix back down to here so we can kill him next turn. Uh Byleth, yeah, out here. Don't want any of our uh, mages to be uh, anywhere near these guys, considering how squishy they are. So we'll just move them right outside of the line of fire. Ah, they moved towards us. How nice of them. Okay. So now, we can like... Yeah. Move Dedu to here. Fortunately, yeah, he's outside of that. So we'll just have to set up over the next couple of turns. Question is 7... Actually, yeah, Dimitri does have a protection of 12. He doesn't take a lot of damage from these guys. So if we put him up here to attract those. Right there. Sylvain there. Uh, Felix starting to bring up the rear. And heal him, of course. Yes. Oh, thanks. Honestly, having healers with us is just necessary in the game. <laughs> okay. So no Byleth one shots these guys. They're just outside of Bernie's range, of course. What are these guys' movements? Four? So we can move he can move to here and here. Which means this line is the one that's dangerous. So if we take out these two... Alright. Yeah, if we take out those two and make sure to move out of the way... Yeah, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Yes, I was right. Okay, you move to there. So, and net here. Wind, finish them off. What's done is done. We'll have Phyllis one shot this guy because <laughs> Should I New Game that? Plus is broken. Another They do attack Bernie. Uh, Bernie has a protection of 4. Attack 14, she take 10 damage. Eh, not really worth rocking, er, activating Persecution Complex yet. Hmm. Actually, that could work. Persecu persecution Complex is busted, so... Yeah, we'll activate it. But why? You know, why are they attacking Byleth when he literally one-shots them? I just, I don't get it. Oh, he missed. <laughs> no persecution complex anyway. Level 6, Dimitri. Alright. 
we can have everyone else finish them off. Well, except for Felix, I guess. Oops. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Two, level three. So you're, we're gonna want the lower levels to finish them off at least. So Ingrid. Actually, well, let me double check. Oh, they're they're just not in, they're not in a range of Mercedes anyway. Okay. I aim for greatness. My technique. Yeah. Yeah. Sabine. Right here. What's next? I'd say my day's been going pretty well. Thank you for asking. One percent crit chance. Let's get. Okay, now it did. It didn't happen. I didn't expect it to happen, but it would have been cool. <laughs> So we'll have her take out this guy and oh, <laughs> one HP left on him. Dang. So some XP 49 remaining. Okay, so we'll have Lysethia finish him off. Okay. Yeah, and we'll have Bernie finish off that guy. Okay. The Crest of Gloucester has procced. Three times in a row for Lysathia. This is, uh... <laughs> interesting, to say the least. Can I go now? I can I have so... Alright. And practice battle complete. In five turns and thirty minutes. <laughs> uh, it takes me rather long to finish these battles. <laughs> yeah, we'll do we'll do all three of these. Get the uh, use all of our activity points for grinding. At least now I don't need to generally strategize as much because it'll be the same thing pretty much. Though I will swap around units now. Because actually keep we'll keep Petra as an adjunct for Felix. Um we'll swap around Ash and Bernie, because yeah, Ash is lower level now. And Lorenz is once again benched. <laughs> Lorenz is always benched. Alright, is this the exact same thing? It is the exact same thing. Got it. Alright, well in that case, we'll do pretty much the exact same thing. Actually, ooh, hold up. Um, yeah, I probably want to send Felix up this way again. Or, ooh, actually, because Felix has relatively high avoidance, I want to, I should probably put him in there. I have Dedu act as bait up here. Yeah. Because that is just invulnerable. <laughs> Alright. And begin. Alright. 
Okay. What I do. So first things first. I do want all three of them on him. And they can't hurt him. <laughs> oh. I do suppose before we get started with this battle proper, we have a different sort of battle to do over on Stream Raiders. So let's get this going. We've got ten allies on the battlefield against three enemies. Something tells me this is uh, going to go pretty well for us. Yep. That, uh, that's a victory. Five gold going to every viewer of this trip on the battlefield. One viewer's getting 15 gold. It's going to Ice Logger. Let me collect these, and we'll get this next battle going. We're going to be heading towards the token chest. I know there's... You can't get too many tokens out of it, but, uh... Still quite a bit this early on. Oh wow, that's a... That's a big thing. Place you until the battlefield for a chance at victory, and we'll get this battle going in half an hour. Now, in the meantime... Time, we, of course, have more Fire Emblem to play. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, and actually Dedu being there blocks their movement so we can get other people closer. Nice. Alright. Felix here. They have a 48% chance to deal 7 damage each. And, we and, we have a healer right here for next turn. <laughs> oh yes. All according to plan. We'll move and that up to here. Stay focused. They do focus on Dedu. All right. They're actually they all. Yeah. Ooh. Actually, it looks like only two of them can focus on Dedu, so one of them will probably go after Violet. That's fine. Leave it to me. Ready. Let's see here. Move Ingrid here to attack up there, and Sylvain here to attack up there. Okay. Um, ooh. So this I'll bush is own. out of the way. We'll put Ash here. Mercedes here for next turn. Asethia. Uh, up here. Because, yeah, we're gonna need multiple ones to take out those three. Oh, I still have the Iron Axe put on Dedu, don't I? Oh no, he has the Steel Axe. Good. Unfortunate miss. Maybe but extra maybe. HP, let's go. Working out how I want to go about this. I suppose, yeah, if we have Ingrid attack there. <sighs> Violet's movement options don't let him attack this guy, which he can one shot. That's unfortunate. Well, our main priority is taking out this guy before he's able to take out a new net. So why don't we... Ooh, right, that would divert both of them to a net. Unless... Hold on. Yeah, okay. Working this out. Okay, so if we move a net here, wind, take out this guy. Well, it won't take him out yet. We'll have anchor take him out.
Yeah. They actually all diver to attack the imprint. Wow. That was not exactly expected, but okay. Iron Plant, finish this guy off. Seems I prevailed. That should do. There we go. We move Dedu here. Yeah, they, they'll they'll attack us at the end again. That's to be expected. Um, whereas the Delta will finish off this guy. All right, he had three HP left. That uh, wasn't entirely necessary to set the up, but go off. Dedu here, wait, and then Byleth here, and finish off this guy. Okay. Took a bit of planning, but should I have helped that? Worked out. We must stop. Yeah, they attack Ingrid. Alright. So now. Okay. All right. Not good enough. Get good at best. Stronger. Now what we should be able to do is we can have Dimitri. It reduces him to one HP. Dang. Well, hopefully this hits. Okay, good. But we're, we're still gonna need Dimitri to go here. Sixty-four percent of chance. Nice. Over already. You can have Sylvain go over here. I check Sylvain instead. I mean, okay, that makes sense. He'll do zero damage to Dimitri, so. Yeah, we're getting pretty lucky on these up. rolls. I feel like we're gonna get start getting unlucky soon. This is what a... I'm still not here and heal Felix. Okay. So. Everyone's getting the HP up. Nice. Level four, Ingrid. Let's go. I will get. All right. So now here, gonna attack me. Alright. Thunder. Okay, so that does 9 damage. Alright, so between fire, you have to pick them out. So we'll have Sylvain. Can shot this guy, 69% chance. Nice. That one is expected. Then up Ash. Go here, Iron Bow, kill 9 damage. Oh! <laughs> Let's go. Just extra damage in there. Nice! Yeah, because Mercedes will be out of the attack range of these guys. Just barely, but out of the attack range. Fire here, finish them off. Dimitri will move up to here, and Felix 
over to here. Okay. So now over here. Three, four, four, four. Okay. So we'll have Annette finish this guy off then. He has one HP left in that. I don't think you needed to crit, but let's go. Just like that. Okay. We can once again use Dedu as a walking tank. Ooh, okay. Protection is six, she take eight damage, I believe. But we have a healer right here for next turn. Violet, we go over to here, and Scythia to here. Alright. It's not moving. Smart. Um, how do we want to finish them off? Oh, so I need to figure out who can attack who. So if we have... Let's see, Ash can finish that guy off. Ingrid herself can finish off that guy there. We have... Sadie's and Felix both attack there. Actually, no, okay, we're gonna want Sylvain to finish off him. Yeah. You know, Byleth can one-shot that guy. We can have Annette and Lysethia. We can both attack that one in the middle. We can have Dedu run off and take out that guy. And Dimitri finish him off. Okay. Plan has been formed. Sylvain. They get this guy. What's next? Let me force Sylvain. Nice. This is what a got it. Then if we have Felix, go here. Subject. Yeah, okay. So this guy will probably attack Felix. Actually, this guy will attack Felix next turn. That's fine. Let's attack 14. Protection of 6. He'll only take 8. Yeah, he'll only take 8 damage. Okay. So now... We have... Hmm. We want to go back to this one. Okay. So we have Ingrid. If we have Ingrid attack here... Yeah, we'll definitely heal her next turn. And then Scythia. Oh, that doesn't finish him off. Ooh. Wind does finish him off. Okay. Ooh. 
double check something. One, two, three, four. Okay, so yeah, Bile will be able to go there to take out that guy. Okay. Yeah. This still works. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. No, I need this here. I didn't quite think this through enough. Hold on. <laughs> You're attacking Ash. Section of five, and that can take. <sighs> yeah, and that would take what? Um, fourteen minus five, nine damage. Okay, so yeah, she'll be fine. Uh. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that through all the way. Mm. So actually, wait, wait, we can take up both of them. We one-shot this guy. Alright, you didn't quite need to crit there, but that works. <laughs> Never doubted you. And then if we have Dimitri, go here. And then Sethia finish him off. All right. I just worked harder. Her then Dedu, we can just go here and wait. There we go. <laughs> Level five, did you? Let's go. Not good enough. Actually, yeah, Dedu can now take one of the um, exams. Uh, let's see. So these guys are all level four. One thirteen, nine, eighty-five, eighty, eighty-nine, eighty. Actually, oh. On. Felix and uh, Mercedes were level three. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll move Sylvain there. Heal here for the extra XP. That's fair too. Let's go. And Felix can finish him off. Next time, bring your friends. Hard work created. All right, that's that practice battle complete. It's a fan MVP. Okay, and once again, we shall continue to grind <laughs> because uh, it's early game. Therefore, I'm not over leveled. And in fact, the game consistently tries to make me underleveled. So, you know, we gotta fix that. Right. Actually, starting things off with rearranging Junes and stuff. I'm gonna swap out Felix and Petra, because they're both level 4 now. Petra's actually a little bit behind. Ash is still behind Bernie, so we'll keep her as. June and there we go. Okay. 
There we go. Is it, it's exactly the same. Okay. Actually, yeah. Put that there. Petra already has an avoidance of 14. Excuse me? What? <laughs> huh? I okay, sure, I guess. That, um, yeah, that makes sense, right? Definitely. Uh, <laughs> have Dedu up there again. And there we go, okay. Pretty much the same setup as the last time, right about. And let's begin. I will get the victory. So, she has a killing edge too, which like, they only have a 43% hit chance each. Oh god, it's only like, level 3. Actually, not even. It's it's literally chapter two, and Petra's already busted. This is <laughs> this is hilarious and kind of scary simultaneously, you know. Stay focused. Again, we'll put Violet here. Here goes. And Net here. Wait, actually, hold on. Oh yeah, she just has a rally. Oh wait a second. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's important to have. Leave it to me. I assume, yeah, they, they both default then to the technical Cynthia, which we don't want. Something in there. Ingrid here. Here we go. Mercedes here. Dimitri here. And Ash here. Okay. Oh my god, that rally was insane. <laughs> they do one shots things now. <laughs> Luck wasn't with you. Yeah, I uh I definitely see the benefit of having a tank on the team. Dang. <laughs> Give up. To the Unfortunate. Oh wow. Sylvain so outspeeds them now? Wait, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Sylvain so has an attack speed of seven, excuse me? Why is he so fast? I mean, I'm not complaining, but why is he so fast? <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna want to move Dimitri there to act as bait. Um, 123, 53, and... Level 3. Okay, so does the Killing Edge... 29% crit chance. Hmm. So regular old steel sword. I mean, okay, if we got a crit, it would be funny though, you know. <laughs> that that's the thing, right? It's the comedy. That's what matters. Uh, I'll use the regular. Actually, no, no I will use killing. Yeah, because if it doesn't, we kind of need to heal, so... Alright, it didn't crit. I should've just used the regular sword, but whatever. <laughs> Actually, we can probably heal next turn, right? Yeah, we can definitely heal next turn. So, this turn... Okay. First, Rasma Delta. Ah! 
level five Lucethia, let's go. I have to try harder. That was a lot of boosts. And now Annette. Wind, finish him off. What? <laughs> Why does Annette always get a crit? What's done is done. Um, when the you opponent has one HP. Like, it's funny, but still. Happens a lot. Uh, fire takes about this and spare two? No, spare two does not kill. Okay. Uh, 89, 53, 55. Okay, so we have Dimitri, go here, wait, Ash here, finish off this guy. Ah! Yo, hockey! Thank you for the host! How have you been? Daniela, welcome I in! What I had to. How have you been today? Nine. Okay. Why does why is Sylvain all of a sudden like kinda busted? Dang. <laughs> Daniela! Woo! Thank you for the sun. Wipe a nerd, 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 wipe over a year. I need to change the uh I need to change how the Hmm. I need to rename yeah, okay. I need to rename that emote because I didn't realize TTS I didn't realize TTS would uh include the W and H as one sound. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the sub. Like, over a year, dang. And no worries, Haki. Uh, Haki, thank you again for the host. Enjoy your food. I would once again like to point out that this is chapter 3, and I have uh, made it so my characters already barely take damage. I, I may be grinding a bit much, but it works, right? <laughs> Alright. Um, again, if we have Ash, finish off. Oh, if Ash could finish off either of them. Hold on. Um, I think if Ash takes out that guy, it means Ingrid could take out the other one. I must steal myself. What? Yeah. There, wait, no. There we go. Weren't ready. Level 5 Ingrid. You're gonna be able to get so many of the basic certifications off. Nice. Um, okay. Move. Okay, if we move Petra to here, we can heal her. So let's get that. I think, wait, that crest, I think, um, Conserves uses of healing magic, right? Yeah, we're still at five heals. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Do they just? Do they just all feed themselves to de to Dedu? I think they all just feed themselves to Dedu. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, Daniela. And no worries. Have a nice time with your family. That does divert them towards Sylvain, which would even out the amount of experience given. 
but also them just completely all dying to Dedu would be hilarious. Alright, how much damage will Sylvain take? Nine protection, so we take five damage each. Let's get down. To we have a healer right here, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> Ted is already kinda busted, dang. Luck wasn't with you. We're gonna hit level seven Dedu here. Nice. Weak. Oop. Streamer's battle is ready with a single unit on the battlefield. Yeah, my buster isn't going to last long there. That's uh, unfortunate. We'll get that battle going right after this turn. Sufficient. Level 5 Sylvain, nice. And wait, that level up. Let me kill that guy. Let's go. And level five, Lorenz. Not as nice. Okay. So. Everyone's out of range of actually being able to take out the last guy this turn. Alright. Guess we'll move people into position to do it. 68, 108. These guys are all 5 or higher. 84. Um, actually, nah. Uh, actually, wait, yeah, taking that guy. Not Petra. Mercedes, there we go. Taking that guy out will actually increase experience by <laughs> Mercedes, 3% crit chance? I'm the guy with 2 HP left. Not bad at all. I guess it worked. Oh yeah, sure. Almost forgot about that. Let's get that going, shall we? This, uh... Yeah, this is just gonna be my buster instantly exploding and dying. And that's it. <laughs> Let's, uh, try that battle again, shall we? Place units on the battlefield for a chance at victory, and we will get this battle going in half an hour. Now, in the meantime... We have more Fire Emblem to play. And we're going to be getting to an Explore session pretty soon, so... So yeah, if we just have Dedu go here, and rally immediately, My and that guy's dead. Cool. Let's just, uh... End the turn. <laughs> like, I don't need to do anything else, I just need to end the turn. Alright, so this is probably gonna be Dedu MVP if I had to guess. Called it. I think Dedu just leveled up from level 4 to level 8 in one battle. That, uh... That was something. I mean, it might have been 5 to 8, but still. That was a lot of levels. Alright, let's get the week through. So, how many do we have at full? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we can get Ash at seven. Okay. So, Dimitri, 
I think we were focusing, yeah, spear and authority. So let's actually get authority up to D plus real quick. This will be useful. It's all. Felix. Sword and bow. Do two here. And if one is perfect, we'll do a third bow. Actually, yeah, now the sword's in D, plus, we'll just do the third on bow, regardless. Lots of goods, not a lot of perfects. Mercedes. We'll focus on reason for now. What other. Yeah, okay, she's. She's almost listed as good at uh, reason and faith. Got it. Bernie. Need to get riding up, so let's uh, get that there. Petra is also sword and bow. She's already at full C at, at a sword, right? You are One step. Curve shot, nice. You're guided. You're guided. And Scythia. Focus on faith at the moment. It was quite a All right, heal. It was okay. Then Ash, we'll just uh. All oh, right, yeah, 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 we need to get Lance up as well for um him. Actually. Um, yeah, we'll do writing for this. Alright. Tasks. Uh... Do we want to alternate something? No, I think, um, England's the only one we're gonna have on flying, so... Just keep it like that. Uh, a whole bunch of goals. That's good. That's good. Yep. Yeah. yeah, because we need, um... Yeah, Lance, because we're gonna need the, the thingy. Uh, <laughs> what you call it. Uh, riding. Yeah. That's... We're putting them on horses. That's, that's the gist. <laughs> okay. I think those double-checking goals as well. Oh! I didn't realize Lorraine's automatically focuses on Lance for a reason. Switch that to uh, Lance and Riding. Okay. Support cutscene. Support cutscene. All right. Hello, Professor. Do you have a moment? Well, I have this book of battle tactics that I borrowed from one of the knights. There's one part that I just don't understand. Do you think you could explain it to me? Well, that is a pilot's job. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. It's about this diagram here. I don't get why the knights are grouping up in that forest there. I just can't see the advantage to a formation like that. Yay! I finally get it! You really are a great teacher. <laughs> I mean, both of these are like decent answers. Really. No way. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I just love learning new things. That's why I came to the Officers Academy. I want to learn magic, battle tactics, martial arts, and, and, well, all kinds of stuff. I'm learning more now than I have in my whole entire life. 
Speaking of, I better go visit the library for some research before magic practice, which is just before sword training. <laughs> From what I've seen of uh the the uh, general Fire Emblem community's opinions of characters, and that is one of the more popular ones. So granted, all of the Three Houses characters are really popular, because they're all really well designed, both design- like, actually, physical design-wise and character-wise. <laughs> oh, no worry. Don't worry, Cthulhu. It's, uh, completely fine to be in with the regular crowd. That's just not possible. I always find it's more tiring to laze around doing nothing. I've never been any good at that. I have to have something to do. Like, on my days off, I need to get up early and take care of the cleaning first, or I just can't relax. You know what I mean? Personally, I don't, but I know people like that, so... <laughs> but a day without accomplishments is completely wasted. Not to mention... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I was supposed to be on cooking duty today. I completely forgot. Sorry, Professor, but I have to run. Thanks again for your help. <laughs> Put this stupid barrel here! Ah, <laughs> uh, the comedy that gets injected into these cutscenes is great. Oh, I totally agree, Cthulhu. The voice acting in this game is stellar. Am I doing all right? I hope I'm not too off. It's hard to sneak out when the professor is watching. Yeah, why would you say that out loud, Sylvain? I'm like five feet away from you. What what is going through your head with saying that? <laughs> Another cutscene? Another cutscene. Let's go. <laughs> We're getting all the cutscenes. <sighs> Shopping took longer than I thought. It's a good thing I had your help, Professor. Looks like we've got everything we came for. Time to head back to the monastery. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure if the money that night gave us would be enough. We managed to scrape by, though. I'm glad those shopkeepers were willing to strike a few bargains. <laughs> it's one of the few things I'm really good at. I've got a lot of experience living in the city. Money was tight for me, too. At least until a kind noble adopted me into his family. Come to think of it, you were originally a mercenary, weren't you? I'm sure you've traveled all over Fodlin. That must have been a pretty different life from regular folks like me. I mean, <laughs> Violet's past is just... completely messed up. So, like, yeah. <laughs> It sounds a lot more exciting, though, traveling the world from conflict to conflict. But a mercenary's whole job is fighting, isn't it? Must be a pretty tough way to live. Yeah, especially considering that Violet was literally raised in a mercenary troop. Like, the dude's only 21 at this point in time. Like, <laughs> it's insane. I believe you. I can imagine. I had no idea they sold this book around here. I haven't seen this one for ages. Okay. I, said, I say this, like, nearly every time. There's just a single dialogue option that pops up. But, like, game. Byleth has a voice actor. You can just voice the lines. Like... Lug and the Maiden of Wind. It's a well-known tale of chivalry in Fargus. Lug is the King of Lions. This book is full of his exciting adventures. I've loved this since I was a kid. It was what got me learning to read. Give me that book! <laughs> Who? Like... <laughs> true, Cthulhu, true. They probably do get paid by the line. Actually, well, actually, I, I have no idea how they're paid. Uh, so I just saw the slash S there. I'm... Streamer brain. But also, I'm sorry. 
this person saw a transaction happening. Like, they're wearing the monastery uniforms. The shopkeeper is, like, right there. Does he think he's gonna get away with this? Like... <laughs> the merch what the somebody catch that thief cut him in half like my prices <laughs> <laughs> even in the midst of a robbery she's just like advertising please calm down ma'am you calm down kid if he gets away with that valuable merch it'll be a huge loss for me here allow me to compensate you Huh? Are you serious, kid? I mean, no objections over here. But that sounds crazy. Don't you worry. That thief will be paying me back just as soon as I catch him. Head on back to the monastery, Professor. I'll take care of everything here. True. True, Cthulhu. It's just like, you can't do anything. Like, Byleth probably has a sword on him at this point. But like, the dude, the dude just had to come in and take the book. Okay, Byleth definitely followed Ash there. Like, there's no way he just let him take on the thief on his own. Like... Pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Lots of skill level up. Let's go. Each new experience is an asset. Night Mealer? Alright. I forgot there was a combat art literally just called Helm Splitter. <laughs> I got it. So Bone Power Level 2, Tempest Lance, Bone Power Level 2, Thunder, ninja. let's go. It's all coming together. Hope this is good for something. Alright, close counter. Nice. Grasp on this. Luna Lambda. Alright. Oh, this is going to be the one where it forces us into, uh... Yeah, it forces you to do 7R. Alright. So before any of that... Certifications. Um... <laughs> how many... Ooh, we should do some of the, um, support cutscenes as well. I'll take care of that. Uh, how... Let me look at the convoy real quick. How many of these do we have? Okay, we only have three more beginner seals, so we'll buy... Uh, how many do we have for... Able to take some additions? One, two, three, four, five, six, so we'll buy another three. Item shop. Sell off the bullions. Actually, the blacksmith's probably isn't open yet, right? It's still early game. Okay. Um, let's see here. Ooh, actually, I think we can get silver now. Silver, a silver lance for him now. Yeah. Okay, so let's get um. Let's get three more Vienna Seals first. Oh, not four. There we go. Three. And... Good. But yeah. Blacksmith isn't unlocked yet. <laughs> oh yeah, you can play this game completely separately from the other Fire Emblem games, Cthulhu. It's, uh, my first Fire Emblem game as well. It's, uh... I mean, from what I understand of how Fire Emblem works, it's essentially... You can just... Each each game, except for direct sequels, are essentially their own universe. Like, there are a couple ones where it's like... I think Awakening takes place in the same world as the original games, but... Ah, Silver Lance is B or higher. Okay. Same with Brave. So we'll hold on to the Steel Lance for now, then. 
Um, so caliber D, we can get them steel bows, which will be nice. Get him a steel lance. Ingrid, a steel lance. Get Bernie, a steel bow. There we go. Uh, Petra, we can grab a steel bow as well to do that. Uh, Lorenz, we should probably buy a steel lance for... Oh, lances are up here. There we go. Here, we can sell off the excess ones, I think. So, this iron axe can just go. We don't need it. Uh, this iron bow can go. We don't need it. This iron lance... Training bow, we really just don't need now that she actually has attack magic. Same with this training axe, we like never needed it. Iron lance can go. Okay, maybe I should have held on to them because uh, they are lighter, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, I definitely agree, Thulu. The um, voice acting in this game is absolutely stellar. Uh, let's see. What else can we get people? I, could, I should probably grab the Brave Sword for both Byleth and uh, Petra. Though, actually, no, Petra's only sort of level C right now. Yeah, we'll just. We'll just hold on. Yeah, I'll buy a Brave Sword. <laughs> only buy one a week, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe one a month. Eh, I don't totally remember it. Uh, battalions, we haven't unlocked yet, right? Forgot about that. Now, certifications. <laughs> Dedu. So, Lance, and there. So, Fighter. Get him this. Alright, well, unfortunately the stat bonuses there weren't really anything good, but... Map Sylvain. We can grab Soldier 4. Huh. No stat bonuses. Alright, Ingrid, we can grab Soldier. Right, yeah, it's just a sword. I must continue. Bernie. Think fighter, right? Yeah. Get us that bonus. Just in defense. But that's good because <laughs> persecution complex. Alright. Lorenz. We can get up soldier. And I think is Lysethia the other one? I was I didn't actually look that hard. It's probably Lysethia. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Petra and the others are still level four. Okay. So monk Lysethia. So now that's that's done. I will 
watch the support cutscenes because it forces us into, uh, what you call it. <laughs> I'm blanking. Right, it forces us to do seminar just the one time and then never again. So, oh, there's support cutscene between Ingrid and Dimitri. Let's see how this goes. Thank you for sparring with me, Your Highness. It seems despite how hard I've worked, I'm still no match for you. Oh, there's no need for such humility. Thanks to all of your hard work, you're improving rapidly. If you're going to praise me, it should at least be after I've won a match against you. You know, Ingrid, I may be the victor when we cross spears on foot like this. But on horseback, your handling of a lance is far superior. Can't I be allowed to have my own area of expertise? <laughs> no, I cannot allow that. It's my duty to get stronger, to fight with all I have in defense of the kingdom and its people. Such high stakes. <laughs> By the way, where did you learn that fierce jab of yours? I'm pretty sure the only other person I've seen perform that move is Glenn. So you recognized it. Yes, he shared much with me. I thought as much. I never imagined I would be on the receiving end of one of his techniques again. Glenn and I once studied under the same instructor. I've sparred with him more times than I can count. Ah, uh, yes. He was never short on praise for you. Lord Dimitri is incredible. Such skill. There's no way I'll ever outmatch him. Things of that sort. Well, now, he never said any of that to me. <laughs> well, he was Felix's brother. That family's not big on displays of affection. That is true. We spent about as much time arguing as we did training. I can't believe it's been four years since the tragedy of Dusker. Since we lost Glenn along with so many others. Right. Forgot this route is really depressing, apparently. <laughs> so it has. Time moves quickly. Things have changed so much. Actually, as well, since so many of the main villains early game are, like, related to characters in this route, it's like, oh no. <laughs> right. Despite the sorrow, mm. I intend to become a powerful knight. A knight like yourself. And like Glenn. I will do so for the sake of my homeland, the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, and for all who have died protecting it. To that end, I hope you will spar with me again in the future, Your Highness. It would be my pleasure. After all, I value our training sessions as much as you do. Great. It's really yeah, Ash and Sylvain. And it's probably gonna be Sylvain and Lawrence, if I had to guess. Wow, Ash, training again? You're taking this whole night thing pretty seriously. It's just my daily training. Maybe you could stand to be a little more eager yourself? If I want to be a great knight, I've got no choice but to put the effort in. No choice? I think you're making life too difficult. Knights don't have to be perfect. All I'm saying is, I've seen some pretty sloppy knights out there. That's not going to be me. I'm going to be a proud knight, virtuous and gallant. Virtuous and gallant? Are you kidding me? If you just ride around being virtuous, people will get fed up. They'll boot you out of town. It's never wrong to have virtue, not even if it means being made an outcast. Interesting idea. You think very highly of this whole virtue thing. Say, have there been any knights who became great just by thinking highly of themselves? I like Ash as well, Cthulhu. I think he's a really interesting character. And also, like, you know, protect. <laughs> think on this. Knights are supposed to protect people and earn their admiration. Isn't that right? Well, yes. So what are you saying I should do? Seize people's hearts! What do you mean? You want people to love you? Offer them something they haven't got. Guess what that is? It's you, Ash. They don't have you. Get out there, buddy. Be valiant. Help people. Here, I'll show you how it works. Uh, Sylvain, don't go bothering people. Hey there, cutie. You seem to have lots of bags there. They must be heavy. My name's Sylvain. Let me help you out. Are these going in the warehouse? Helping out those in need. I guess that's a good start. No thanks necessary. It's been enough just to be able to talk to you. Well, if you insist, how about we go get some tea? 
It must be fate that we met like this. I'd like to get to know you. Great knight, huh? More like a great philanderer. Seems like all he wants to do is flirt with women. No, I can't allow this. I have to stop him. <laughs> God. Also, yeah, exactly, Cthulhu. I think that's part of why, like, all the characters have traits that just make them really well loved by certain people. Ash is one of those that, yeah, the underdog vibes. To find the analog of your beauty in nature, I can turn only to the lily. Only that flower is so sweet and so delicate as to approach your loveliness. God. <laughs> Why did I click on this cutscene? They're two of the, like, absolute most egocentric characters in the game. I just look at these soft, delicate fingertips you have. It is as though they could blossom into fragrant lilies before my very eyes. If you're so wild about flowers, why don't you try a flower shop? <laughs> oh, wow. That was... I'm sorry I saw that, but I am so glad I saw that. <laughs> oh my god. Even Sylvain is dunking on Lorenz. Damn. <laughs> Did you not realize? I was only testing her. Any woman who is taken in by such simple flattery is ill-suited to my noble disposition. Oh, okay, I'm glad you explained it, because I thought you just got rejected. Just flat out, no way to make yourself feel better about it, rejected. <laughs> and the reason, your nobleness, is because that is really not the way you go about hitting on a girl. Oh, is it not? And I suppose you consider yourself an expert on the subject. Pay attention, kid. Maybe you'll learn something. When I saw you, I just had to come over and say hello. Because finding you here uh, feels like fate. Sylvain, do you use the same line every single time? Because you just said that like 30 seconds ago in the other cutscene. <laughs> Maybe we could go get some tea. Get to know each other better. I think you must have mistaken me for someone else. Someone who cares. Please excuse me. <laughs> Let's go. Exquisite. Simply masterful. When is the wedding? <laughs> oh my god. I don't regret clicking on this cutscene now. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. <laughs> That's weird. Girls usually fall for that speech. You must have spooked her. To think that the noble house Gautier would be blessed with such a graceful and charming air. Please, I'm a much better heir than a self-important failure like you. <sighs> this is not worth my time. You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, these two are definitely characters that would absolutely despise each other. That makes total sense. And before anything else, we've got a streamer. To so let's get this battle going. We have 24 allies on the battlefield this time, so... I'd say this will probably go a bit better. We've got actually 26 allies in the battlefield against five enemies. So yeah, we have to take down this giant, and there we go. We got five gold going to every viewer place trip on the battlefield. One viewer's getting a barbarian scroll, and I was getting ten gold. Loot's gonna be going to cute pull and you cobble. Collect this loot, and we'll get this next battle started. Place units on the battlefield for a chance at victory, and we'll get this battle going in half an hour. Yeah. It's probably better if we be able to place units over here. Oh, me. If they, if they want to put units around there, that works too. All right. Now, more Fire Emblem time. <laughs> Let's hold the support cutscenes out of the way. On to the uh, seminar, because it's required. Yep, the seminar is constructed with their expertise, yada yada. So we get sword and. Let's see. So we can get sword and authority on those four, spear and authority. Ooh, 
Okay. Bow and faith. Or bow and reason. Actually, I think that's... Panamans is probably the best one to go with. Yeah. Yeah, alright. One step before the next step. All right. Okay. <laughs> We're getting on to like the actual thing. Word from the knights that the last of the thieves have been cornered. <sighs> on to the actual battle for the month after an hour and a half. <laughs> Just as planned. They're in Xanado, the Red Canyon. We certainly can't allow those underhanded thieves to get away. Let's work together and do our best to take them down. It matters not who we're up against. They will not harm His Highness. <laughs> we're just fighting common thieves, right? I don't expect much of a challenge. Aren't you a spoil sport? I'm actually quite excited myself. Who knows? There may even be some cute lady thieves. Sylvain, don't flirt with the enemy. Just... <laughs> Unless it's to confuse them into the point that, like, you can strike them down. Just don't... Sylvain, what? <laughs> Just... What? Hmm. Well, at any rate, a real battle is a great opportunity for us to see how far we've come. True. The mock battle was a success. We'll be fine so long as we stay the course. Perhaps we are a bit overly excited, but remember that we have the knights on our side. All should be well. Ah, and speaking of the knights, I heard that Gerald is once again one of the knights of Seros. Perhaps we'll have the good fortune of seeing you two fight side by side. <laughs> I feel like Byleth probably would in this situation stress that, yeah, this... Oh, of course. I apologize for letting my childish whims get the better of me. In all honesty, I'm a bit jealous. My parents are no longer around. The... Byleth. Byleth, this is a very common phrase. Why... Byleth, what? <laughs> By... Like, that there isn't even, like, I'm sorry to hear that option, like, just... They... they died. Both of them. I'm all that remains of them now. If I remember correctly from the previous routes, I think they were both assassinated? Like... <laughs> Anyhow, I'm sorry to bore you with such things. I'd say it's nearly time for us to depart, eh, Professor? If this was any other Nintendo franchise, that's exactly what it would be, Cthulhu. <laughs> okay, well, not any other Nintendo franchise. A couple others just don't shy away from death. Actually, I don't think about most Nintendo franchises just don't shy away from death. They just hide it at the end of the game so the ESRB doesn't mark it. <laughs> Alright, let's get the mission going. Your students have received their first assignment. They are to accompany the Knights of Seros to the Red Canyon in order to help strike down a group of bandits. This will be their first real battle. Yeah, maybe that's where all the main protagonist fathers get off to, because they're all uh, chasing after the regional legendaries, and just disappeared in the process. So, we are taking children into battle, are we? I am not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. Exactly, Stothis. I, I point this out every time, but like, 
this this organization is sending 15 year olds into live combat like just I get medieval is kind of common but does nobody see an issue with this I <laughs> Not infinite. Yep, Divine Pulse. You know, because of Divine Pulse, they really just straight up could have given Violet the Witch Time if they wanted. In Smash. It's probably a good thing that they didn't. Okay, Lorenz, congratulations, you're getting benched. Uh, it's probably a good thing that they didn't give him a uh, Witch Time, but they could have. Okay, so who's. Definitely want either Petra or Felix in. I think, yeah, Petra's behind a bit, so so we'll put Petra in. Uh, oh, right, okay. Um, so who, like it's limiting. It's actually is limiting quite a lot. Okay, we'll put, we will put Ash in, have Bernie as an adjutant. Um, who else is... Hmm. It's actually tough on who we want to bench this battle. Uh, actually, map. Yeah, I should look at the map. Let's see. So, oh, they're all, they're all level 2. Okay, uh, resilience of two. Resi okay, so that looks like they all have low resiliences. What about Costas. All right, cool. So yeah, we'll uh, well, we'll definitely want all of our mages in. In that case, we'll be subbing in for Petra, Ingrid, maybe, or maybe Sylvain. Um, probably Sylvain. Yeah. And we'll have Felix adjutant and Sylvain adjutant on Nick. Okay. Now, right, Violet and Dimitri's positions are fixed. If we put Lysethia here, can she attack them? No, she can't. Okay. So if we put in. Yeah, we can just chuck Dedu into here. Hmm, right, right. So we can just put Dedu there. Uh, that allows both of them to attack him. And if we put Annette here, then she can, uh... Yeah, then Annette will be able to rally and increase his, uh, his strength. <laughs> Ah, yes. Dedu is utterly busted and it's amazing. Okay, Petra has an avoidance of 14. These guys only have hits of 76. Dang. Um, yeah, put Ingrid there. If we look at abilities, just want to double check. Yeah, keeping brawling prowess and authority over there. Uh, let's see, Annette doesn't have any extra abilities. Okay, everyone else has abilities so there. Alright. Ooh, Ash doesn't have close counter yet. But he will soon. Alright, let's get the fight going. The Red Canyon. This is the first time I have ever been here. It's like walking through a ruin. Let's get this battle out of the way, Professor. The thieves must have already been driven back. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! I don't think that, so that is true. There is a back road to the west. Let's split up and approach from the west and the front. If we advance cleverly, we attack from both sides and gain the advantage. I mean, pincer movements are pretty powerful, I'll usually. To you, Professor. But before all else, we'll need to cross the bridge. But yeah, it seems really common in anime 
that, uh, they just <laughs> attack a 30. Wait, does this protection of 5 it one-shots even without rally strikes? Okay. In that case, if we put Dimitri here. They're both gonna attack Dimitri, aren't they? Okay. Whatever. Here goes. We'll rally strength him. Wait. Bro rally applies to both? Oh. <laughs> we just get all the rallies on the net. Okay. In this case, I kind of wonder if we shouldn't make a net dancer. Since she gets so much rally stuff. Just support character. Anyway, um... Yeah, they're both probably gonna attack Dimitri and they're both gonna die for it. Ready. Get the others in position to quickly cross the bridge. Leave it to me. I'll give it my all. Really, Cthulhu? Dang. That's, uh, kind of messed up. Eliminated. Actually, that is kind of messed up. That just is messed up. Still whole and sound, I hope. Yeah, no, Daddy, you just killed a man, I'm pretty sure. You, you, you hit him with an axe. I'm pretty sure he's dead. The ones we're gonna have to watch out for is this guy. Because, uh, yeah, we have low resilience on a lot of them. Oh, in the grand scheme of things, there are far worse ones than Fire Emblem. You're right, Cthulhu. Like, ethically, there are a lot of, uh, <laughs> not great decisions made in anime. But, uh, yeah. Alright, 68. 27, 108, 56. Okay, we'll have Petra finish off this guy. Uh, Steel Sword should be enough, right? Yeah. Flame Spirit, protect me. People and beasts are as one. Calm your heart and do not be worried about this killing. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Petra. Oh, that's a that's a hell of a response to killing someone. So they are moving, which means that there is a uh, more <laughs> more cannon fodder to feed to dead you. Ooh, ooh! Actually, hold on. This guy's. Oh, they gave him bow range plus one. That's gonna be a problem. Ooh. Okay. Uh, how to deal with that? Be. Mm hmm. Hmm. You can block his movement, I think. Yeah. Okay. If you block his movement, that'll definitely reduce the range. <laughs> Where? This. Ooh, okay. So, good, 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 good. So, if we move Dedu here. Oh, it doesn't kill. That is unfortunate. That is. Oof. Oof. That kind of hurts. But it's fine. Yeah, we can restrict the archer's range. So that we can avoid, uh... We can avoid it at least. So we have Dedu go here. 
0% crit chance, so this isn't gonna kill. We'll just leave him with 1 HP. But attacking twice ain't gonna do you any, any good if you literally deal 0 damage. Like, I don't know what you're thinking there, man. Okay. There we go. So now... So both attack Ingrid. But they're all attacking Ingrid, actually. Dang. Um... She'd take... Ooh, an unfortunate amount of damage from them. They have attacks of 14, and they'll, they'll attack twice. So she'll take 14 damage each turn. And this guy attacking her, yeah, okay. Uh, how do we want to display that? Protection of 10. Alright, attack speed of 4 as well. What's their attack speed? 9. Why are they so fast? Dang, okay. Uh, <laughs> Attack 14, attack 14. I think actually, ooh. Wait, this guy would do 7 damage to her. Because she'd hit back. Right? She has a hit of 93, what's his avoidance? 9? Ugh, actually. <laughs> the chances are non-zero, and I don't like that. <laughs> so actually, I don't think... No, okay, she she would kill the first one that attacks. Hmm. Okay, well, moving by list here is we're gonna be doing that. They do all attack Ingrid if we do that. Okay. Yeah, we're not we're, we're uh, not gonna be doing that one. Just move Ingrid to here. The net here. Okay, so he does attack Petra. Avoidance of 14. 295, but does drop off attacking from 3 away. 14. And we have a healer right here. Mm. Attack speed. What's his attack speed? 3? Okay. So yeah. Yeah, we can take 8 damage. Probably should have switched to a bow, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. And as usual, then, set the here. Mercedes here, and Ash here. Okay. Should I have held back? Allow me to demonstrate. Violet. Violet, he has 1 HP. You didn't need to deal 81 damage. Oh my god. We must all do our... Okay. So now, we can start with attacking the others. Um... Oh, he doesn't have counterattack. Oh. Oh. No crit, that's unfortunate. Four. Hmm. 
Max's resilience two. Okay. So actually, hold on. Fire here would kill in one shot. All right. Level 5 Mercedes. I hope the goddess blesses them to rest in peace. And here, just wait. <laughs> okay, he is gamuting. But like still. Actually, come think of it. Or, uh... Yeah, the victory condition is just defeat the enemy commander. Alright. Ooh, great. Ooh. We'll be able to grab this too. Ooh, okay, that'll be good. That'll be good. Um, who do we want to send around that way? Probably. Everyone's movement is only four right now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We have... Pincer movement might not be the best plan, actually. Hmm. Like, looking at it. So, uh, if we send... Dedu, Ingrid, Lysithia over that way? Actually, Dedu, Ingrid... Actually, no. We'll probably send Dedu over to the right. We send Ingrid, Lysithia, probably Mercedes, and Ash. Over that way, and everyone else up. Yeah. Okay. Plan is being formed. All right. Yeah, Lysithia has heal now. Hit chance, does it hit? And it does not. Congratulations, you screwed yourself. <laughs> it only has a resilience of three. Hold on. Does. Okay, Lysithia doesn't quite one shot. Never mind! <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, what does Ash do against them? Ash doesn't kill. Is Petra? I think of it. Actually, using the bow, no. So the sword. Right, she doesn't have axe breaker yet. Might be a good idea, actually. The okay. Yeah. We have Petra. Attack from here. And then Ash, attack from here. Uh, it still doesn't kill. Dang. Then I will have Ingrid finish him off from over here. I aim for greatness. And that's Chesky. I can't relax here. We need to prepare for our next battle. So now if we okay, hold on. Let me look at this. Ooh. 
<laughs> Hold on a moment. We have Dimitri go here. Dedu go here. What's his attack? 31. What's their protection? 6. Oh. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> and then here, Rally. Quite helpful. Okay, they both attack Byleth instead. That was probably to be expected. Uh, we'll just move Byleth over to here, then. So we'll deal zero damage here, one damage here. Um, okay, yeah, we won't use heal yet. Keep that in reserve. Oh, I didn't pay attention to how much HP he has. Oops. Alright. Oh god. The crest procced and everything. And he hit that 11% chance to miss. Dang. We okay, wind does not kill. Cutting gale does not kill. Uh, Dimitri on his own does not kill. The two of them together will kill, so we'll do that. These guys are gonna be coming down, so we once again use Dedu as bait. Here, cutting Gale. Yeah. Oh, very nice uh, crest rock there. All right, Dimitri, finish him off. You never had a chance. I know they are just thieves, but this never gets easier for me. And Dedu, we can uh, start. <laughs> Baiting them up here. Yeah, they, they do attack battle instead, so we'll go over here and wait. Ingrid will get the chest next turn. And we'll have everyone else gather just outside of uh, that guy's range. Haku, welcome in! How have you been today? You didn't miss all that much, just, uh, quite a bit of grinding. Alright. Wait a second, what's their, uh... Oh, they only have hits of 76. <laughs> so if you have Petra... Um, uh, hold on. Okay, neither of those kill. Killing Edge has a 29% crit chance. Does... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, actually, okay, before anything else, we got the Stream Raiders battle ready, so let's get... Also, fair, Cthulhu. Not everyone likes chess, or chess derivatives, so... Um, actually, I think putting haste around this group is probably best. Because, yeah, they're further away from most of the action. We have 44 allies in the battlefield against 18 enemies. Let's see how this goes. I think it's going to go well.
glad to hear your day went well, Haku. Alright. We got five gold going to every viewer who plays strip on the battlefield. One of you's getting ten gold, and another's getting another ten gold, and one of get getting a bomber scroll. Loot's gonna go to Asalco and Ilge and Hiramet. I think those would be how those are pronounced. I don't know. <laughs> but this next battle is a token chest, so you can get some nice loot, nice loot out of this one. Place your units on the battlefield for a chance at victory, and we'll get this battle going in half an hour. Now, in the meantime, we've got more Fire Emblem to play. Yeah. Chess and chess derivatives are uh, fun for some people, and hell for others, so... <laughs> okay, does Byleth one-shot here? He probably does. Yeah, okay. Does Deru one-shot these guys? He does. <laughs> We've already made Deru absolutely busted. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we'll have Byleth take out the archer. That is that. Then I think yeah, we'll have Annette Cutting Gale here. Can Petra finish it with a bow? Hold on. Oh, Petra does finish it with a bow, okay. I do want to see Steel Sword probably kills Yeah, alright. Killing at 49% crit chance now. Oh god, that would be horrifying, Haku. Insta-death, uh, chess? Like, ugh. Verbal, sorry, insta-death fire emblem. Insta-death chess is just chess. I have improved. <laughs> and then Dedu can just eviscerate that guy. Sufficient. And we'll have Dimitri move up to here. Now, get Ingrid to open this. A large bullion. Nice. Oh. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Uh, what's this guy's? Let me look. So, Ash does not kill. Cynthia? Does kill. Alright. Oh, 81% though. It has to hit both. Let's go. You underestimated me. A precious opportunity to test my own strength. I won't make waste of your deaths. Oh. Okay, Lucithia. That's uh hmm. Yes, yes I did, Haku. I also recruited Bernie, of course, because Bernie. And Lorenz solely so we can get Thursis later. Okay. Again, we can bait them out with Dedu. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately we had to get Lorenz because Thursis is busted. Alright. Start moving the others down this way. Good enough. 
I mean, he is fun to laugh at from time to time. Cthulhu <laughs> said. I don't know. I, I know I dunk on Lorenz a lot, but he is a fairly well-written character. I mean, a character has to be well-written if they're written well enough that uh, they're designed to be loved to be hated, essentially. Also, yeah, he's a, apparently a font of meme material, so... Wait, there's a meme of just putting Lorenz's haircut on every character? Oh. I did it! See? I'm a great fighter. And that you just killed someone. <laughs> Your response is this. Okay. Right. I, I know I, I dunk on <laughs> I, I dunk on the Church of Saros for sending fifteen year olds into live combat. But also the fifteen year olds are sociopaths, so Enjoy your snacks, Cthulhu. And then down this way. Slowly make her way up. Wait, resilience of seven? She she only takes three damage from the uh Oh. Yeah, she'd only take three damage from the wizard there. Okay. Weak. Aw, he's moving that way? Okay. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Curiosity, how much does Cutting Gale do? Okay, not a lot, that makes sense. This guy has Nisphera 2. Okay, yeah. You can set up next turn to take out Costas. Costas? The fact that Costas doesn't have, like, counterattack or whatever is somewhat hilarious to me. <laughs> Alright. So we have Petra... 23% crit chance, come on. <sighs> Alright, well... Oof. <laughs> um... Let's see, does Dimitri take out the mage in one hit? No, okay. So actually, what I'll do then... Yeah, okay. Have Annette, Cutting Gale, him. I know he healed a bit from the spirit too, but hopefully that's still enough to... Yes! Okay, good. Then we can have Dedu finish off the archer. Luck wasn't with you. True. Ooh, actually, hold on. We can uh, probably since this will be one of the last turns. Ninety-four, one nineteen. Okay, we'll have a uh, Mercedes healing grid for a little bit of extra XP there. Can't take across this yet, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he's going down this turn. Okay, so resilience of two, attack of eighteen. So we're gonna want to prioritize ranged attacks. Wind. Okay, doesn't one shot him, but you can't. He can't attack back. <laughs> okay. Um. 
What's this hit? 96. Okay, so we want... <laughs> True. There is a 2% crit chance on wind. Hmm. That's... Uh, Byleth doesn't one-shot. Alright. Dimitri also doesn't one-shot. So that's fine. <laughs> Come on. 2% crit chance. Cost, you're literally the only person. <laughs> you're literally the only person left that's here. Like. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to just stall for experience grinding for a bit because Ash is still level 4. At least, like, get him up to there. Unfortunately, we don't have warp yet. <laughs> Like, if he takes out Costas, I think he levels up. So yeah, we'll, uh... Oh yeah, Costas heals as well. So yeah, more experience grinding. We'll move Byleth around to here. <laughs> we'll move Dimitri around to here. Uh, we can have Petra shoot him. That won't kill. And we can have Dedu over to here. And you can't move, sir. <laughs> Alright. Next turn, Ash will have a shot at him. So once again, we'll have Petra shoot him once. And then... End the turn. He has 15 XP. How much damage does Ash do? 8. Alright. How much does Petra do? Okay. Ooh. Okay, there's a 13% chance that Ash just wouldn't get any experience there. There's a 2% chance that Ash wouldn't get any experience here, so we'll do this. And Ash will finish him off. I should have never listened to that idiot. What a mistake. Level five Ash, let's go. I'm starting to see results. If I'd hesitated, that that would have been me. We have defeated the thieves. We'll follow the knight's instructions for what to do next. You let us well, Professor. Violet MVP, all right. Unfortunately, the all motivation increasing doesn't really help. <laughs> ah, memories from Sothis leaking in. Hmm, I wonder why it is that you recall this place. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. To be fair, I think at this point in the story, like, Sothis hasn't really made herself totally present other than Divine Pulse, which, okay, that, that's pretty big evidence to her existence, but like, Byleth, Byleth may think he's just on a really bad trip. <laughs> Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. 
Eh, uh, but it's not our first time here. Not by a long shot. Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. So this really does just take every single opportunity to wax poetic, doesn't she? Huh. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Professor, we should return to the monastery soon. We're all ready for the journey. It Fair, Haku. Part, Fair. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. At least she's a lot nicer than the uh, gods of classical mythology. <laughs> oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case, you must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. <laughs> oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. But, but so this is just dripping with sarcasm half the time, and it's great. I'm finally back. I'll leave the report to Lady Rhea in your hands, Professor. Huh, Edelgard. Does the Black Eagle House have a mission to see to? Remember, on a real battlefield, one can never tell what's to come. You can never dismiss the possibility of the worst case scenario. Take care, Edelgard. Oof. Oof, you can see from these interactions that, like, Dimitri actually cares about his classmates, which, ooh, that's gonna make the story hit harder, isn't it? <laughs> that's gonna make the story hit a lot harder. There's no need to state the obvious, Dimitri. But tell me. Why the concern? Perhaps you doubt my abilities? If so, your lack of insight is disappointing. That's not what I meant. If I've offended you, I hope you'll accept my apology. Don't worry about it. Professor, we must hurry. Everyone's waiting on you. I suppose I should be off too. Try not to let her get to you, Dimitri. I promise you, there's no need for concern. <laughs> <laughs> About that, Manuela. Hmm. Wait, Manuela was on screen when had a line of dialogue and didn't flirt with Byleth. That's new. <laughs> Byleth can instantly just ship them. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it. Some other time. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Yeah. I, I have to wonder how they choose... Which uh, other professors lead the other houses? Because there are some interesting things with that come up with the implications of that, but it's not really explored in the other two stories, at least. We'll see how it happens here. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it, in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. 
<laughs> Long ago, All right, the this cutscene received a revelation from the goddess, a gift to help guide the lost. <laughs> this, uh, oh, these cutscenes hit a little bit different after the lore dump of the last route. Also, I just realized. Is that just straight up a PNG in the background? Like, <laughs> that's that's either amazingly photorealistic for, like, the canyon, or it's just straight up a PNG of, like, Arizona or something. <laughs> the goddess is always watching over Bodlin from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. <laughs> you can just... <laughs> I bet you can just, like, pin that on Geralt, but, like... <laughs> I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Saros. Yeah, considering that he has Sothis living in his head, not really much of a choice there. Also considering the experiments that Rhea performed on him as a child. Like... Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then... I have no memory at all. <laughs> the way she delivers that last line. Nice. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? <laughs> hmm. No, that cannot be. I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? I mean, you have to wonder, Haku, like... Does it count as a religion in-game if there is provable evidence of it existing? Like, hmm. Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on. And now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... So this, the anti-nihilist. Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Oh, oh, this is the Lenato chapter? Oh no. Oh no, Ash. Oh. Oh no. This, uh. This is gonna take a toll on Ash's psyche, isn't it? Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. <laughs> I assume you pressed enter too early there, Haku? Eh, happens to all of us. Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. 
He's been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. I mean, given some of your practices, Rhea, the, some of the ethically questionable things that you've done, like... Hmm. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Saros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights' rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Did they did they stop to consider the fact that Ash is in this class? And the fact that that's like a major conflict of interest? Like Excuse me. You sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights. And that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Saros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> sending Ash into battle against his father is just not a good idea, like, on any side, because that's going to be traumatizing no matter what. <laughs> Alright, uh, before anything else... Uh, marketplace, armor shop, that would be by... Uh, actually, hold on, double check some real quick. Certifications... Uh, yeah, we can get one for... I think we need one for... wait, hold on. Okay, we have one for Violet, we need one for Felix, Ash, Mercedes, Annette, Petra. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Dedu is level nine already. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's really easy to just send him out, press wait, and watch as they, oh, well, send him out press wait, have a net come up and rally, and then just watch as all the enemies just feed themselves to him. Certifications, and let's get these going. Alright, so Felix. Uh... You can go Myrmidon or Fighter. We're gonna have him be uh, an assassin eventually. I think. Hmm. Actually, not sure which one to go with. Actually, we use Sword with him more. Go Sword. For the time being. Was a foot soldier a class in previous games, or do you mean like the lack of like sword and bow kind of thing? Oh, what a relief! Okay, Mercedes Monk. I'm so glad I- 
Oh. Right, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's the only Lance class you can transition to for intermediate. Huh. Like, he'll get his own class eventually. But, like, dang. Hmm. Alright. Uh, also, Monkinet. And we got the Stream Raiders battle going after this exam. It's all thanks to Har Alright. Let's get the Stream Raiders battle started. We have got. Oh, this is really spread out. Alright. But, yeah, he's here. We've got 17 allies in the battlefield against 25 enemies. Let's see how this goes. This is going to be pretty close, actually. Okay, took down the giant, at least. That was one of the big ones. These things... Chicken mechas? I, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> they have chicken mechs as enemies in uh, in this event. Huh. This is... this is gonna be close. I don't think we- yeah, I think we lost this. Alright. Dang. That was really close. Let's try that again. Alright. This is a token chest, so you can get some real nice loot out of it. Place units on the battlefield for a chance at victory, and we'll get this battle going in half an hour. And in the meantime, we got more Fire Emblem to play. True, Haku, true. Like, I'm trying to think. We should put. I suppose we could spec a bit into uh, writing for Dimitri, so that we can at least have him have a class in Intermediate until he gets his own class. Welcome back, Cthulhu. How have you been? Er, wait. Sorry. You've probably been well. You have snacks now. I, <laughs> I'm used to saying, how, you, how have you been when I... I can't speak. Streamer brain. I should, I should just stop trying to speak. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. What snacks do you have? I have success. And we won the uh, last battle, so we're on to uh, exploration for this month. Actually, it looks like... Well, yeah, okay. It looks like we do have the last Sunday as well, so it'll be explore battle, explore battle. Alright, yeah, mission assistance, yeah. Okay, so we have 3,800 for now. Um, can you add skill levels? We could... It's 3,500 points to bump, or to bump it all the way up to uh, S. Um, ooh, hold on. What, what level Lance is going to be needed for, um, Bonite? Because we can just get that now and then focus on, uh, writing. All 
Alright. Actually, we get that really soon. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just... We'll skip ahead a bit in writing. Got up to see. Now... Uh, Petra... Alright, Petra will leave alone for the time being. Because we don't have all that much around. Oh, so this is just here. Forgot about that. Uh, okay, so Italians, uh, Drolts, uh, Faculty, oh, Faculty's joining, okay, and Mercedes, okay. You have spent quite some time in here engaging in such idle chatter. Do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste? So this, I mean, the game's time, you know, stops for us. We can do this infinitely. I can just stand here and not answer. <laughs> I mean, I will answer, but... You must try harder from now on. Huh? Oh, hello. The things we can't obtain here are likely obtainable by way of the underground. Are you unfamiliar with Garrig Mox Underground? The place is an absolute paradise for those who can't stay above ground. And there's the DLC man. Alright, uh... This way. Alright, there's just... There's just things all over the place now. Hello, oh, Catherine? You really are as hard-working as they say. <laughs> Alright. I keep forgetting that you can make Byleth just incredibly egotistical, and it's kind of hilarious. But... Like a true hard worker. Alright, that's Raphael's. Hello. He likes Catherine. Hmm? Her skill is impressive, I'll admit. So is her sword. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. To be fair, there are like five characters in this game that are actually open about their past. Let's be real. <laughs> you should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I bet. Lord Lamato must know that his efforts are futile, yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. You know, it's kind of surprising that nobody saw, like, Edelgard's eventual betrayal Something coming. About this like, situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Like, I'm pretty sure my first playthrough when I was with the Black Eagles was, like, I saw it coming a mile away, even. I'm studying like, here so I can be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Uh, Do you think I've got it in me to be a top-tier mercenary professor? Uh, I'm going to work a lot harder than all the fancy nobles around here, I can tell you that. Oh, right. Continue on here. Hello, Ferdinand. I heard about your class's assignment, by the way. Good luck subduing those treasonous nobles. Ah. And oh wait, plods over here. Hey, teach. There's some minor noble rebelling in Fargus, right? He has no chance of winning. I wonder what he hopes to achieve. Yeah, Cthulhu. Um, I know a lot of the names are based on 
well, European names, because the setting is based on medieval Europe. So, like, you have a lot of French names, uh, you have a lot of German names as well. Like, huh? So are you going along to help? Sounds like an easy victory, but good luck out there. Or, I suppose actually it would be, uh, for the time period, Russian names. Names, not me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did I say means? What? <laughs> I suppose Hearts of Iron? Like, you can do that? I don't know. Uh. Yeah, and we, we maxed out Professor level first thing, so. Right. Hello, Bernie. Oh yeah, fair warning, Thulu. If anything ever comes up where it's like looks like a French pronunciation, I am going to utterly butcher it. Just a just a heads up. Hey, professor, do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. No matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry after. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. Oh, we can actually go up here now. Is there anyone up here? Yes, there is. Well, there's a person. There's also a cat. The cat is much more important. Hmm. Next month is when a very important ceremony will be taking place at the monastery. Pilgrims from all corners of Fodland have already started to gather in anticipation. Thank you for the hydration reminder, Haku. Remember to drink water, everyone. It's good for you. I pray that you are able to nip this trouble in the bud as soon as possible. Oh, saying English pronounces all the letters is like, eh, not quite. We're inconsistent on what letters we pronounce. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's fun. Inspirational. The plants of Fodlin are different ones than in Bridget. And people here are unknowing of the spirits who watch over the earth and bless it. Only the goddesses know. Is that factual? Yeah, yeah I do get what you're saying, Cthulhu. <laughs> Harvest these and plant these. Cultivate. We'll just go. We'll just go with the five hundred for the time being, because we don't have that much cash. If the flowers within the greenhouse are removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers. Flowers that thrive. Despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? <laughs> so, you know, the flowers that uh, can grow up just in the crack in the concrete, right? Like, seriously, you have house plants where, you know, you miss a day of watering of them, they just completely die. And then you have wild plants, which can just grow wherever the hell they want. Dang it, messed it up a bit. Oh, more bait. Okay, so among other things that the internet has ruined about my humor, like, if I say the word more, and then a noun that starts with B. The fact that it 
produces the syllable morb. I had to stop myself from breaking out laughing after saying morbate. I... I just... <laughs> God. Oh, the internet has utterly ruined my humor. It's great. What? I desired fresh air. <laughs> morbate. God damn it. Oh, God. That and the word sus. Like... <laughs> I have a favor to ask. <sighs> yep. So this is where we unlock the battalions. Uh... Yeah, just double-checking. There's one from Geralt. Manuela and one from uh, Mercedes. Oh, Zoomer humor is blah, blah, blah. Zoomer humor is funny at times. It's just uh, yeah. Have we unlocked the blacksmith yet? We have not. Okay, what are we looking at for uh, durability? Still pretty good on everything. 28, 22, 33, 45. Oh yeah, we should be able to last this month at least. Welcome. Uh, anything to sell? Ah, large bowl. Thank you. Cool five grand right there. Anything else? No, okay. Please come again. Since we're heading to Castle Gaspar, that means we'll be passing through Magdrid Way. The road is well known for its beautiful surroundings. Depending on the time of year, it can be incredibly foggy, though. When it's like that, you can't enjoy the lovely scenery. Lucky for us, it shouldn't be too foggy while we're there. Not that we'll have time for sightseeing, anyway. Sir, you have doomed us all. <laughs> Why? You mentioned... That it might be foggy. Well, it's gonna be foggy. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. Hilda, you started talking before you turned around. How did you know that? If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. Hello. Yep. What do you require? Alright, so we can get everyone bat battalions except Felix, because Felix gets extra attack when he doesn't have a battalion. Okay, so Byleth just has drill mercenaries. Okay, so Ash, who do we have that we can assign? Just E right now. But, uh. <laughs> Probably good to have. Okay, there's no no ranged ones yet. Hmm. Probably would be good to have just like disturbance or something. Yeah. Or, ooh, actually for Ash onslaught. You want to hire better. the battalion? We've got you covered. Thank you for the hydration reminder, Cthulhu. Do remember to drink water, everyone. It is quite good for you. Sylvain, uh... Ooh. Ooh, that's an interesting, uh... Way that uh, that one works. I mean, water is probably better for you than Mountain Dew, but also, yeah, Haku. Like, 
it, it does require actually working on his authority level, which, like, not the best idea. Uh, so Mercedes. Ooh. Do we want Stride or Heal? Probably Healing. Oh, we'll give Stride to Lysethia. Do you want to hire this battalion? Leave it all to her. Ooh, and she has access to more. Oh, Stride is absolutely busted, I agree. Ooh, ah, true. Wait. <laughs> if we give Stride to Lysethia, Stride, Dancer on Lysethia, warp someone else <laughs> who has Stride applied, and if we warp someone like like a, uh, a cavalry unit, <laughs> it's just the entire map is open. Like, huh. Also, yeah, uh, group flames is probably good to put on a net. We'll do everything. Ingrid. Um. Her authority level is currently at E, so we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll hold on to that. But. <laughs> True. Annette has Rally as well, and she has a bunch of Rally things. So, like... <laughs> oh god. That's, uh... That's gonna be fun. Uh... Yeah, we'll probably give her... Probably give her Disturbance right now. Swap that out later. Uh... Yeah, we'll just get Stride on Lysethia right off the bat. Uh, let's see. Bernie. Lure could be good, maybe? Actually, hmm. Lure on Petra might be better. So yeah, we'll just give her... We we'll give her disturbance. You want to hide? Ready for Just to slowly work up their uh, authority levels. Do you want to hide? Ready for and Lorenz, I'm not spending money on you. <laughs> Thank you. Battalions from various territories gather at the guild. There are even some that aren't affiliated with the Church of Seros. As we are allowed to hire them, you should visit the guild soon and come to your own conclusions. As they fight, battalions will lose endurance. When that happens, you can replenish their endurance by visiting the battalion guild in the market. Alright, so now, time for the best character in the game. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Have you talked with Catherine yet? <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. Yeah, Gatekeeper is, again, best character in the game. He could 1v1 the rest of the cast, let's be real. <laughs> the only reason the Gatekeeper stands at the gate and watches is because there would be no story if he actually got into the action. Doubtless, there are times when one must take up their blade, even if there's no chance of winning. But this, it's downright senseless. Lord Lenato knows better. If he had enough allies to back his rebellion, it would be a different matter. Ah, uh, my apologies. 
I was just thinking aloud. This whole situation is a bit too strange for my liking. Even with the necessary preparations in place, there is always a chance that something unexpected will occur. Please be ready for anything, Professor. Of course, of course. Did you? His Highness is strong, but on the front lines, anything can happen. Losing him would be devastating for Fargus. Yeah, especially considering that, like, I mean, he probably does have some sort of relative. They wouldn't, if if there wasn't someone lined up to take the throne in the event of an emergency, they wouldn't have sent Dimitri to the Officers Academy. But like, still, it's probably someone pretty far down the line overall, like a cousin or something. I hope the church understands that. Well, it is the nobles' duty to protect the common folk, not to endanger them by rallying armies in such a feckless and improper manner. Abuse of that kind is no better than slavery. A proper noble must guard the people from such a fate, wouldn't you say? Precisely why true nobility is well respected. Right. Also, I do have to wonder. Why are they blocking off the graveyard? Like, what? Why? <laughs> like, there is someone down there, probably grieving or something. But, like, why are they. Why do they not let Bylus go there? <laughs> yeah. It is rare that Lorenz uh, is speaking facts, but he does on occasion. Has invited me to train with her. How much do you think I should train before I'm ready to train with someone that strong? Oh. <laughs> Forget the Byleth can just go zoom. Like Byleth right. gets really fast. Oh, no. <laughs> Why does His Highness take the side of the people of Dusker? I just don't understand it. Only four years ago, they murdered our king and slaughtered the soldiers and knights who were with him, all of whom were innocent. Even if he can forgive them, I can't. Not ever. What they've done is against all codes of honor and ethics. I Ingrid, what? <laughs> it, yes, there was a rebellion, but like... But racism isn't the proper response to that. <laughs> <Where>? <laughs> It would seem that a minor lord in Fargus is raising an army. This poses a threat, obviously, but not one for the kingdom, for the church. I mean, Fargus doesn't even have a king at present. There's something unsettling about this army. You had better ensure we're fully prepared. Eric. Yeah. Ugh. Is back here. Ah, Alice. Past here is the holy mausoleum where the saints of the Church of Sarah slumber. Sorry, but only a select few members of the church are allowed entry. It's open to the public on only one day of the year for the goddess's rite of rebirth. Okay. Uh, is this guy here at this chapter? No, he isn't. Alright, well, that gives us more time to grand renown. To grand renown, at least. Maybe Lord Lonato. He used to stay at the monastery rather frequently. He was such a pious man. A true believer. Such a terrible shame. I wonder what changed him. Hello there. Hello, Ash. Oh, right. Please, Professor, there must be some mistake. Lenato would never raise arms against the church. At least, he never said anything to me about it. <sighs> Poor Ash. Like, man, you gotta feel bad for him. And also, like, what the hell is Rhea thinking about sending Ash into battle 
against his own father. Like, I've said this multiple times, but... He... <laughs> Rhea, you're just, you're just traumatizing them at this point. Like... Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. Meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. As a member of the church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. Alright, so not so subtle threatening there. has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. Oh yes, very much. I'm from a family of merchants, so I've been able to see a lot of art. Hey. You got over here? Last. Those Abyssian idiots. All they ever do is cause trouble. We'd best purge the entire underbelly of Garrett Mock. Hey, you. Okay, and here. Right across from the blood. Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Alright, we're all oh, right, we're maxed out on sword. Uh faith, why not? I still have much I simply must thank you, Professor. Yep, and then it locks back to training, I think. Hey, you. Let's go here. Hello. Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family. Kristoff, I think it was. I have a request. Uh, before anything else, we gotta show. So let's get that going. <laughs> this time we have 28 allies in the battlefield against 11 enemies, so this will probably go a bit better. a victory. Nice! We have 8 gold going to every viewer who has a group on that battlefield. One viewer is going to be getting 50 gold, one is going to be getting another 50 gold. It's going to Haku and Eggman 1964. Let me collect all of this loot and collect on the quest as well. And probably I need to upgrade my Templar. Yep. And I need to upgrade my flag bearers. Okay. There we go. And let's get this next battle started. Place units on the battlefield for a chance at victory. And we'll get this battle going in half an hour. I spoke a little bit early there, but... <laughs> there we go. Alright. Now over in the library, it looks like. Really? And I also need to uh, collect that thing for Geralt. Oh, hello, Tomas. Professor, I heard that you made battle alongside Catherine. Even among the knights, she is something special—a holy knight who is able to wield a hero's relic. 
Still, she can be a mite difficult. Yes, to sus. So, uh, there is Geralt's, uh, <laughs> choice of drinking material, I guess. Hey, thanks for your help. Okay. Yep, gifting. And now... I didn't really take advantage of the lost item stuff last time. But like, okay, so there's Dimitri's. We can just give to him. That's Raphael's. No idea on that one. Same with... I think it's a not Felix as I remember correctly. That one's probably Hoffman. Hey. Are you going to fight alongside the Knights of Saros? Hmm. Let me know if you meet anyone I might be interested in, okay? All right. And, and and Mercedes here. All right. Whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor, you were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late, or so I'm told. <laughs> I have a favor to ask of you. We're going on a mission with the knights, right? I wonder if... Oh, sorry, it's nothing. I was just wondering if someone I've been searching for might be among them. Thank you. I'm definitely gonna find him one of these days. Right. Right, I forgot that Annette's father is kind of just really distant from her. Like... I just, we'll get more background on that during this route too. <laughs> it's just all sorts of character background that gets expanded upon during this. Yep. So I just want to satisfy them. Spoke once with Freeze. So this is Caspar. Um Thank you so much for your help. Okay. Now let's go down. <laughs> The explore sessions always take longer than I assume they're going to. But like, that's not a bad thing, just means there's a lot of content, you know? What about... Hey, Professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Knight. I hear that Lord Lenato served the King of Fargus' older brother when he was younger. Or something like that. He already had status and prestige. So, why raise a rebellion? Eh, I guess it's none of my business. And a bunch of people in the dining hall. 
Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. <laughs> I mean, he is rather thin still, so like clearly he's working it off, but like... That is a choking hazard. Like, that that's just straight up a choking hazard, so like... That's my mentioning it to you. Good luck with him. Ah, today's meal was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. You're really gonna agree with that guy? Why is no one here on my side? School of Sorcery. If you have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward flame. Right. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Said it instantly entering a protective father mode. But also, yeah, he hasn't seen anything. <laughs> like, Battle hasn't seen anything. If you do see anyone getting too close with flame, please inform me of it at once. I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. You're familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? Unfortunately. That woman. She borrowed a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. Clearly, a sin of the utmost caliber. Just now. She dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and kept eating. When she saw my shock, she said simply, Three second rule. <laughs> this. Uh, cooking. We don't have any desk or bear. Okay. Uh, speed plus one. Ooh, hold on. Speed plus one would be really nice. Blood plus two. Defense plus one. I'm gonna go with speed. Sounds fun. A little. Okay. Now, I think I've spoken to everyone, right? Okay, let me look at cross items. So Dimitri, Raphael. Don't know on that. Don't know on that. Probably. Um, probably Mercedes. So Mercedes and or Net, and then. Uh, actually, hold on. We can just give this a Hanuman now. I'm sorry. That just now. Believe I left this behind. Well, thank you so much for retrieving it. Okay, so now looking at. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. No. Four, five, six. It's Dimitri, Deu, Selene. Ingrid, Bernie, Sophia. Sophia there. Ooh, eating delicious. Now, um. Dimitri, Dedu, Sylvain, uh, I think Ingrid was the other one? Oh, let me look. I have a terrible memory, you know? Yeah, Ingrid, okay. Uh, okay, get Dimitri and Sylvain here. You know what, Professor? Now, so. 
and uh, Dedu and Ingrid. I like. I appreciate. Okay. So now okay, we have five left. There's no tournament this month. So faculty training. All right. Let me look at my own stats. For this. Uh, authority would probably be, yeah, go to on that. There's no entrance there. There we go. Alright, so that's Leonie's. Actually, wait. Seth probably has authority as a thing. Should go to him. Wait, that's not, that's not the way to the dining hall. There we go. It's really easy to get lost here, even though I've done this group. If you really, do see even though I've done this, I've played this game. There we go. Like three times. Okay, four. So, pretty much everything, huh? You got it. <laughs> As a member of this. Uh, okay, so we'll leave. I think there's more, uh. Yeah, there's enough staff for, uh. Right? Hold on. Aloise, Geralt, Freya. I think Catherine you can get training from too, right? Double check that. Ooh, true alert stance is busted. Practice yields res Right, two different I have left three. Okay, so yeah, we get one from Maria, one from Eloise, one from Catherine. Then. As a member. Actually, I uh, probably should have gone with the uh, the uh, but I can't speak brawling there, but yeah. And oh wow, okay. Lots of uh, support cutscenes just popped out of thin air, and we get to also get the support cutscenes between people as well. Come to think of it, here to train. Ah, true, Haku. Armor too. That's a thing. So Sylvain cutscene. You think I'd cheat? On you, baby? Never. Come on. You should know me better than that. <sighs> really, Sylvain? Really? You're the only one for me. I swear. Hey, if you don't believe me, well. Oh, I get it. If I'm not your type, do you want me to introduce you to some other guys who have crests? They're all nobles, just like me. What? That isn't why I'm... You... You're worse than I thought! I just want you to be happy. You know, get what you're after. I hate seeing a girl cry. Especially one as beautiful as you. So, you know, maybe we... <sighs> so, Professor, do you enjoy spying on people? You look like you've got something to say, so say it. He was just- so Violence was just out of frame the entire time.
I, I feel like we're missing context here, but like, yeah, that that interaction did not paint Sylvain in a great light. Hey, that was between me and her, not you. But you know how it is. Most relationships, they end in heartbreak. Anyway, I don't know why she's so upset about me dating other girls. She didn't care before she found out, so why does she care now? Sylvain, you're an idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> Sylvain, what the hell? What the... <laughs> what? The... That... That doesn't make any sort of sense. I really do hate seeing a girl cry. I swear it's the truth. My heart's in a million pieces right now. It's just the worst. Well, I figure the best way to mend a broken heart is to head out on the town. Why don't you join me? Who knows? Maybe you'll find love. I mean, I know I will. Calm down, it was only a joke. You've really got no sense of humor, you know that? Except with Sylvain, you can't really tell with that kind of content. Let's get the other two and then head up to the cathedral so we can get the thing from Alice. And then we'll watch the other support cutscenes from the other characters. Professor. Hello. What? <sighs> that's the third time this month. Well, that's that. Father never relents. Oh, Professor! Hello! Did you need something? <laughs> Byleth really does not know how to interact with people, dang. <laughs> like, the first one's just really accusatory, but like... Uh, so the second one you could pass off as simple curiosity. Well, um, that is... I was just tossing out something I have no need of. It's important to keep our spaces clean, after all. You do well to remember that too, Professor. A clean space makes for a clean mind, or some such. Getting rid of things you have no need for is the first step to managing one's belongings in an economical way. <laughs> oh, she just uh, instantly went towards the uh, deflect, just deflect onto something else, start a different conversation. Does that surprise you? Perhaps it seems ill-befitting someone of noble birth to care about such things. Despite my family's nobility, we have never been particularly wealthy. So my father raised me to be conservative with my resources, paring down when necessary. He also encouraged me to keep my living spaces immaculate, so the two go hand in hand, I suppose. <laughs> Yes, he's a good person. Even when managing our territory used up most of our family's resources, he still went out of his way to ensure my comfort. And then turn the conversation back around. Not really subtle in any way, but... Oh, uh, just a scrap of paper. It was already written on, so no good for note-taking. And obviously, I can't use it to clean my lance. So I tossed it. No need to hang on to inconsequential things, you know. Professor, did you come to check on me for any particular reason? Well, there was a symbol on a map saying to go here, so... I hope Sylvain and Felix aren't getting into trouble as they tend to do. Well, if there is nothing important, I'll be on my way then. I still have some cleaning to take care of, after all. Talk to you later, Professor. That was awkward. <laughs> there.
It's a lot of support cutscenes. Ooh, dead ooh. Okay. Did you want something? I see. If you have the time, then please assist me. I am to water the flowers in the greenhouse. Thank you. Only do not water the ones in that corner. They are from Dusker. They require a dry environment. The roots will rot otherwise. Huh. Makes sense. You know, they didn't show them on screen, so I can't really do it the first one, right? Like, uh... Hmm. Yes, they are. <laughs> Why? Why is this... The... Huh? It's just... It's just... An ellipses. They stop. Eh? Game? Why are you making me press A? That's just... Ah oh, yes, it's the staring contest now. I owe you a debt of gratitude. In both the extracurricular activities here at the Academy and on the battlefield, your presence has been instrumental in the defense of His Highness. You have my sincerest thanks. I see. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a lot of conversations with Dedu. Was there something else you wanted? Then please, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so now I can go up to talk to Eloise. I do think, yeah, we'll probably wrap up stream after this next Stream Raiders battle, because we're gonna, we're getting, yeah, we're coming up on the four hour mark, so. Past he Sorry, it's open to the... I still have... Okay, so Dimitri and Selene, all right. I'd better avoid the training grounds. I swear his highness never sleeps. You're out late, Sylvain. Is it safe to assume you've been wildly carousing with women? I'm afraid that behavior simply will not do. Ah, your highness. Hello. No, I was not wildly carousing with women. There was only the one. Let's just forget you saw me. Agreed? Well, if that happens, Haku, then I'll probably go for another, like, half hour or something. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do that. It's time someone talked some sense into you. And it seems the task has fallen to me. Sylvain, I'm not saying you can't enjoy yourself at night. But you must learn the art of moderation. Again and again, you end up wandering the streets until the early morning. Okay, I get it. I don't need one of your lectures. I've got them all memorized anyway. I promise I'll be better in the future. I'll stop going out at night. I'll focus more on my studies. It seems like a stock response he's given several times before. And in return, you'll go into town with me. And we'll invite some cute girls to dinner. Shall we shake on it? The way your mind works absolutely confounds me. How did you even arrive at such a notion? 
The way Dimitri sounds genuinely curious there is hilarious to me. You need to get out more. Naive and uptight is no way to live your life. Naive and uptight? <laughs> yes, well, compared to you, I imagine I'm downright run of the mill. I'm not so sure. Most men are experienced enough to know not to give a dagger to the girl they... Will you never let that rest? It was many years ago. Perhaps a good knock on the head will help you to finally forget about it. Okay, that sounds like an interesting story. <laughs> what? <laughs> With your brute strength, a knock on the head could knock the life right out of me. You'd better watch that temper, your highness. So how about this? I'll try to behave, and you'll try to loosen up. Okay, with that response, I can't tell if it's, like, a surprisingly depressing story or a funny one. And honestly, that says a lot about this game. But I think that's a good thing. <laughs> if I do as you wish, will you truly promise to improve your behavior? what I just say? Of course I'll behave. A knight of Fargus never goes back on his word. Okay, so it is foreshadowing. Good to know. What about you? I want to see you with a girl on your arm. I am a man of my word. I will attempt to do as you ask. But you had better uphold your end of the bargain as well. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. I'll believe it when he introduces me to the lucky girl. Oh, Dimitri. You always take even the silliest things so very seriously. This should be fun. <laughs> All right, we got Dedu and Annette. Ah! No! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Please tell me that wasn't the pin! What was that noise? Dedu! Well, as you can see, the pan kind of exploded. Just a little. How? How? Is this a frying pan? How did you... How did you make a frying pan explode? I d what? I mean, I've lit spaghetti on fire, but like, how do you- Huh? <laughs> like, even I'm not that bad at cooking. Like, what- what did you put on the pan? C4? Like- <laughs> How did you manage that? <laughs> and Teddy was equally dumbfounded. Like- Grateful nothing caught fire, but now the kitchen is a mess. I mean, uh, th there is a cloud of smoke directly to your left. You might want to check and double check that make sure nothing's actually on fire. Are you hurt? Oh, no. I just got a little spooked. <laughs> I really lucked out, didn't I? That could have turned out much worse. I wish you say that. Things are about to get worse. Indeed. But do not turn your back next time. Your life could depend on it. Right. Sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Let me help you. Huh? I will help you clean up. No, I can't let you do that. This is all my fault. You shouldn't have to help me. I have time. Let us fix this quickly. We will need to prepare more food before the others arrive at the dining hall. Oh, you're right. So, after we clean up, you're also gonna help me cook? You object? Of course not. I'm just so sorry to bother you with this. And so Aiden and Ingrid? Yep. We'll watch the support cutscene and get the battle going. That was quite a sigh. What's wrong, Ingrid? Tell me, Sylvain. What am I to you? You're my friend. One of my oldest, in fact. An old friend, is it? Then why must I clean up the casualties left behind by your... your skirt chasing? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that. Heck, I thought you enjoyed it. Besides, you're real good at it. I'm excited to continue working with you. Do you mean to imply you have no intention of acting a bit more respectably? Please don't yell like that. Everybody's staring at us. I, I think 
I'm pretty sure everyone would already know what the conversation is about when Sylvain enters the room. So, like, I don't think you should be surprised about that, Sylvain. When you were eight, you came on to my sweet, sweet granny! My granny! I... I'm sorry, what? I... I'm sorry, what? What? Huh? <laughs> Come on. I was eight and she was gorgeous. That was a long time ago. At least he cut himself off. That's just. I just. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna brush over that. Sylvia like... hit on Ingrid's grandmother? Wow. Okay. Okay. At least the game acknowledges the oddity. People can hear you. Please be quiet. When you were ten, we went to that harvest festival, and you started making eyes at the scarecrow. <laughs> Okay. Okay, these support cutscenes are a lot funnier than uh, the support cutscenes regarding Lorenz. Hey, like, a scarecrow? Wait a second. That was just an accident. A tragic, tragic accident. When you were fifteen, you sought relentlessly, might I add, to involve yourself with Lord Gwendol's daughter. Who do you suppose made peace with the furious Lord, despite having nothing to do with it? Hmm? Me. Always me. Always for you. Every time. What a jerk. You know what? This conversation is over. I'm done. My point is that this has to end. Not later, but now. Fine. I promise I'll try to change. Are you happy now? Sylvain, that is an incredibly empty promise. You've said that to, like, everyone, and it doesn't happen. But that is the last of the support cutscenes. So, uh, I'll get the Stream Raiders battle going real quick. And then we will wrap up this week, go on to the next, and save. And wrap up stream. We have got 58 allies in the battlefield against 30 enemies. Let's see how this goes. It does look like we're successfully cutting through them. So that's good at least. These. Oh, giant bees. That's, uh. Ugh. Ugh. At least they're not wasps. Alright. Me, you've got seven gold going to every viewer who plays trip on that battlefield. One viewer is getting two musketeer scrolls, and one's getting two monk scrolls. Those going to be going to Tygoon and Leish. Alright. <laughs> oh. Oh, I forgot to. <laughs> Oops. Well, <laughs> I th well, at least you could hear it, right? I think I had my desktop audio on correctly. Right, we'll get the instruction done, and we'll wrap stream after that. Dimitri, uh, focusing on authority for the time being. All due to Thanks. That was this. This will be used. Did you? Uh, axe and heavy armor. Heavy armor's work currently at D plus. Work on that. No need. I have. Felix, 
sword and bow. Bow's currently not playing a bit, so we'll do... Oh, Felix was only at... Three. I don't know. Okay, so we're committed to this one, but... Huh. Of course... I suppose I should have paid a bit more attention to that. Four, four, four. Okay, so that's a three. Four, three, three, four. Okay. Prioritize the ones that are, uh... I did fours. So we do need to get... Okay, well, we'll get riding up here. This will be... There's so much... I've learned... This will be... So pain. Riding's a D plus, spear is a D plus. Okay, so we get two on right. Uh, two on riding, two on spear. Hey. Uh take it to three. Yeah. Focusing on I think we have her focusing on reason and authority if I remember correctly. So I'll just focus on reason for the time being. Ingrid. Alright. Yeah, flying and lance are both at D plus. Put three into flying and two into lance. Okay. Two tasks, keep that there, and begin the uh, double tech bowls. Yeah, okay. Be on that shirt. May I ask a question, Professor? <laughs> Alright, I keep forgetting that Bylus just straight up serves as a counselor for these kids. Like pretty much. The, the really snarky answer is tempting, but... <laughs> I guess I could do that. Thanks. Professor. Well, we were already focusing on axe and heavy armor, but, uh... I guess, uh... We'll, uh, make it official then. Professor? Alright. It's a level up there. That worked out well. Battalion Wrath. Night Kneeler. Hmm, Sphere or two. Okay. Close that. Gets to there, and we will save and I'll look for a raid target. We are. I'm getting up on uh, 200 hours in this game. Dang. Battalion Wrath, I assume, is another very broken ability. Alright, let me look. Pat is still alive. I'm not sure for how much longer he'll be alive. Let me, uh, look. Ah, it's situational. Okay, does look like he'll still be alive for at least a little bit longer. So... I will... We'll be raiding Pat. 
get that going. Be sure to copy and paste this raid message. Put it in Pat's chat once you guys get over there. Thank you for coming to stream tonight. I know I've not been streaming consistently lately. Um, these past couple of weeks have been pretty busy in the lab, so <laughs> I just haven't really had time for it. Um, and also, I got myself addicted to Fall Guys, so that happened too. <laughs> um, once August hits, I should be able to stream more consistently. So, once again, thank you all for coming to stream tonight. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, everyone, and I will see you all next time. Bye!